Hello and welcome to Gapy's Garden. Today we're going to talk about the tangerine tiger pepper. Uh, if you're in any of the pepper lover groups, you might have seen this pepper come across your screen. Um, so it's a cross between the ahi tangerine from Susan Garza and the sugar rush stripe. And it was an accidental cross and it did originate in my greenhouse. So there's a lot of people that are growing this pepper and maybe some confusion on how it started, what it is, what it's called. A few people have done videos of it on YouTube, including Kangstar and Batman. It's very unstable still, so you might see a lot of different shapes and colors. Uh, right now it's at F5, um, but the seeds that are, most people are growing right now are F4, and there's a lot of instability. So let's talk a little bit about how this cross came about. So it was back in 2019, I grew the Ahi Tangerine and the Sugar Rush Stripe right next to each other in the greenhouse. And I don't isolate my peppers, so if you get any seeds from me, um, it's possible they cross-pollinate. Uh, they are grown in my greenhouse, so there's a little bit less likelihood of that happening, but it, it does still happen. So I grew those two, and my friend Elena was really interested in the ahi tangerine. So I sent her some of the seeds that I saved back in 2019. Actually, I sent them to her in 2020, uh, but they're seeds that I grew in 2019. So she grew those out in 2020 and she found that they had stripes, which is, has never been seen before in the ahi tangerine. So I looked back at my records and sure enough, the sugar rust stripe was grown right next to the ahi tangerine. So Elena was the first person to ever grow this cross. And I know she sent some seeds out to people and I've sent some seeds out to people. So that's pretty much how it started. Um, initially, we were calling it the tangerine splash. And then probably, I don't know, I, th I think it was in 20, late, maybe late 2020, um, I posted some pictures on Instagram. And then I think somebody commented and, and said, oh, you should call it the Tangerine Tiger. And I thought that was a really awesome name. So we decided to basically change the name to Tangerine Tiger. But some of the people that got seeds from Elena kind of early on are, are calling it the Tangerine Splash still. So you might see both names around. And then we've also got somebody growing a round version of it, and that's being called the Tangerine Tiger Ball. So not all of the peppers people are growing are, are striped. Um, I think the majority are, but occasionally we see some people growing yellow or orange or red with no stripes. So it's really interesting seeing all the different variations that people are growing um, pretty much around the world. I'm pretty sure there's a few different countries that the peppers are being grown in. Now the most exciting pheno that I've seen people grow is grown by Seven Pot Club this year. So I'd sent him some seeds last year and the one he grew did not end up having stripes. So I sent him a new batch of seeds to grow this year. And I think he's growing a few different plants and one of them is coming out variegated. So that is really exciting. So I'm hoping he's gonna be sending me some seeds from that at the end of the season. And I'm definitely gonna try growing that next year and see if I could get some more variegated peppers from that. But those pods are turning out striped, which is pretty awesome. So one of the people that got some seeds early on from Elena is Craig Pepper Grower Jennings. So he's still calling it the Tangerine Splash, which is totally fine. Either name is, is perfectly fine to use. Um, but he's been posting a lot of videos and pictures on his Facebook page and he's growing a ton of peppers. I'm sure nobody else is growing as many of these as he is. I think he's growing the F3 or either F3 or 4, or maybe a combination of both, but he's probably got close to, I don't know, 40 plants that he's growing, and he's coming up with all kinds of different variations of colors and shapes and sharing those on Facebook. He might even be selling some seeds later on, I'm not sure. Um, but one place that is selling some seeds is Fatali peppers. So I think they're out of the country, but I'm not sure if they ship to the U.S. or not. I only grew three of the peppers in the garden this year, and I've got them outside of the greenhouse separate from all of my other peppers. So they shouldn't be cross-pollinating with anything else. Um, but I'm not super happy with the phenos that I got this year, so I'm not going to be saving seeds from all of the plants. Uh, but enough talking, let's take a look at the three that I'm growing this year. I've got tomato cages around all three of the, the tangerine tigers because they can get pretty big, like most Bacatum varieties do. But 
All three of these were seeds that I got from people that grew these last year, and they sent me some seeds that they grew. So this first one here is from Rhiannon's Garden on Instagram. And this one turned out to be all red. So this one, at first I was kind of disappointed that it didn't have stripes, but this all red one has really great flavor. It's super sweet and very mild heat, almost almost no heat at all unless you get towards the middle placenta part. And the skin of, of these pods is really pretty thick walled. So I decided I, I am gonna go ahead and save some seeds from this one and we'll just call it the Tangerine Tiger Red. And Elena was interested in some of these so I'm gonna send her some and I'll probably send out some to a few other people that might be interested. The second one is my least favorite of the three. The seeds from these came from Matsutaki on Instagram. And even though the, actually this one doesn't even look, the striping is very, very light on, on most of these. Um, it's kind of hard to see. The problem with this one is that you can see there, a lot of the pods are getting blossom and rot. And that's not a trait that I want to save and the striping on this is extremely light um, you can barely see the stripes on there so i decided these ones i'm not going to save the seeds the flavor is pretty good but the the blossom and rot issue is just really not something i want to pass on now this last one is my favorite of the bunch it was the last one to set pods, but it's now the, the largest of the three and also has the most pod set. The pepper shape is a little bit varied on, on this one, but it is getting stripes, which is good. And they are pretty, let's see if I could get, there we go. Show you one of the peppers. This one, there's some dark striping on there. Um, the lighting here is kind of makes it look lighter than it is, um, but it is a, a little bit kind of a light orange color and nice stripes there. So that's one of the shapes. And then we've also got this shape here, and then we've got this shape here, but we haven't had any blossom and rot issues at all on any of these peppers. There's quite a few in here that are ready to harvest. This one's a pretty good one. As you could see the striping there it looks pretty nice. Um, so these are pretty thick walled. They do have a lot more heat than the all red one, um, but it's still pretty mild. It's kind of your typical ahi type heat, but they're very fruity and um, really a, a neat pepper. That's the story behind the tangerine tiger and how it all came about. I'll put links to the videos that people have posted about the variety in the description of the video if you want to check those out. And I'll also leave a link to Elena's Instagram account, which is Puskai Rastut. Forgot to mention, I think Tangerine Tiger might be the first pepper that was crossed with the Sugar Rush Stripe. I could be wrong. I know there is one out there also called Zebrange, which looks very similar to the Tangerine Tiger, and some people kind of get them confused. I know Zebrange has some ahi fantasy in it, and I'm not sure what crosses make up the ahi tangerine from Susan Garza, but it's possible there's some ahi fantasy in there. It's, I think it's made up of a few different bacatums. Susan hasn't shared what varieties she used to make that cross, um, but it's a really good pepper too if you can get your hands on that one. I hope you enjoyed learning about the tangerine tiger pepper, and if you've grown it, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.